the USAID mission opened in November, November 19th of uh, 2012. It was officially opened by President Barack Obama personally, and it's the first USAID mission opened by a uh, United States president, showing how important strategically Burma is to the United States. The uh, mission has made significant progress in the short time that it's been open. Currently, they're involved in LIFT, which is a uh, multi-donor effort coordinated by the United Nations to promote agricultural livelihood improvement. The LIFT program was originally started with a $35 million investment from the United Kingdom through DFID. Today it's grown to some $70 million with other donors putting in money. And LIFT was originally designed to not engage and work with the government of Burma for political reasons, but because of political changes, they are moving toward engaging with the government and working with them. So things are changing. Um, another significant event in agriculture is the Farmer Protection Act, which was proposed by Shui Man, the Speaker of the Lower House, and it was intended to provide minimal price support for farmers uh, modeled largely on the program in Thailand, which is providing minimal price support to rice farmers. And our policy people at USAID and in the State Department became quite alarmed because the policy in Thailand has not been wholly successful. And so uh, we met with people in the parliament and uh, had discussions. And in the end, they were able to revise this bill and turn it into something that still helps the farmers, but does not provide a uh, minimal price support that would be likely to drain the treasury. Another program that they have going in Burma is PACT. And this is uh, a community development project which involves health, water sanitation, but it also involves doing uh, small livestock production and other things at the village level, primarily in the dry zone of Burma. The Ministry of Agriculture would normally be the main working partner with USAID, but there's political problems with this in Burma, and there had to be a way to work around it. The way they worked around it is the Ministry of Livestock and Fisheries has changed its name to Livestock, Fisheries, and Rural Development, and we engage with the Ministry of Livestock, Fisheries, and Rural Development, and through them, we're starting to go forward with some new projects. One of those projects is STRIVE, which stands for Stress Tolerant Rice in Vulnerable Environments. It's supported by OFDA, that's the Office for Foreign Disaster Assistance, because they have a program called uh, DDR, which is um, a way to reduce the risk of uh, natural disasters, and so by uh, deploying varieties of rice that are tolerant to salty soils, to flooding, and to drought, it is hoped that the resilience of the country will be um, improved against those kind of disasters. Another project which just went through in Burma is the uh, Urea Deep Placement Project, modeled largely on the program in Bangladesh, which uh, Osagi alluded to just a moment ago. The uh, Urea Deep Placement Project was a million dollar buy-in from the mission at the very last minute, and uh, uh, our uh, administrator, Raj Shah, just announced it uh, two weeks ago in Burma. And it will take place primarily in the northern part of the country. It will be in very good hands. The chief of party from Bangladesh is going to go to Burma to run that project. So in the future, there are many things in, in line for Burma. Uh, the Peace Corps is currently not working there, but they do have plans to go there, and it would be logical for them to work in agricultural areas, particularly at the village level, where some 45% of children still suffer from malnutrition and stunting. And home gardens are probably a way forward. Another area that there's definitely a need for in Burma is mechanization services. Models from Bangladesh, again, would be useful and aquaculture and horticulture production modeling programs in Cambodia could have high potential to improve food security in Burma. And finally, there's programs being designed right now for doing cash crops. Crops like potatoes and coffee have high potential 
to be grown in Burma and sold directly to large multinational companies that could provide a lot of needed support and foreign investment for the country. So in conclusion, uh, Burma is changing very rapidly. It's on its way up and we are hoping that the innovations that are coming out of the innovation labs and the way they're being scaled up at other missions will be a model for Burma that they can rely on in the future. Thank you. To learn more, please visit agrilinks.org and feedthefuture.gov. And to learn more about this mission's activities, please visit www.usa.gov burma.